welcome to a new vlog. I am vlogging in a little bit of a different location right now because whenever my husband watches my vlogs, he's always like, Kim, you need to move around more. You need to show us different backgrounds. So Chris, this is for you. Um, but anyways, today is Thursday. August 16, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it is. And this week, you guys, has flown by. I don't know where it's gone, but suddenly it's gone. Um, so right now, it's like 10.15. I was planning on being in my classroom by like 9.30 or 10, but that's totally fine. I decided to get some stuff done around the house instead. I still needed to finish up some thank you cards literally from my wedding like over a month ago. You guys keep commenting and you're like, Kim, you have your life so together, guys. <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't. I don't. It's just not always together. It sometimes it's together, or sometimes it looks like it's together, but I promise I'm a real human. <laughs> so anyways, today is going to be a good day. I'm feeling like super energized, super pumped. I just feel like I got a lot accomplished this morning, so that's good. I've been working a lot on the curriculum stuff for reading especially because I have used the curriculum that I'm going to be using in like my actual teaching before in my teacher assisting and that was fourth grade as well so that helps. Um, however, the school that I did my teacher assisting at, we were not required to actually follow the curriculum so it was more like suggested but not required. Where I'm going to actually be teaching, like where I have my job that starts in a couple weeks, less than a couple weeks, um, I'm required to completely follow the curriculum. Um, in fact, I'm expected to have the book open and in front of me while I'm teaching, which is just different than anything I've ever done before. I've always had a lot of creative freedom and stuff in my teaching, and I'm not saying one way is better than the other necessarily, because obviously, like, as of right now, I'm a pre-service teacher, so I don't know for sure. Um, but it's just different. So I'm trying to really get a handle on the curriculum. I've been trying to review it like a few times a week all summer and just kind of go through it and see like what I need to know, what I need to do, and just like what's required of me. Um, so it's kind of hefty though. My school uses Reading Street, if you're familiar with that, and it's just a lot. It like covers pretty much like everything. Like it wants you to do all of the reading obviously, but then it also includes like writing, um, it has spelling in there, it has handwriting is part of it, um, it has social studies kind of tied in, so like social studies skills, and there's just a lot in there you guys. So it is kind of overwhelming just because right now I only have my unit one book that I've been working on and it's already like so much. So I do find myself being a little bit overwhelmed sometimes, so that's why I feel like I just need to keep reviewing it and working on it. And so last night, I worked on making a bunch of different, like, things. Um, I don't even know how to say it. Like, things for my bulletin board, basically, that I have in my classroom. So things for each unit. So, for example, like, I made genre posters for each unit that I have so far. And what else did I do? Or not each unit, but each, like, week, I guess, of unit one. I made genre posters. I made um, vocabulary cards. And I made something else. What else did I do? I don't remember, but I did three things and it took me quite a while. I probably spent close to like six or seven hours just working on creating, printing, laminating those, but I did it, so that's good. I could not sleep last night for whatever reason, so I ended up staying up till like 2 a.m. working on that, and then I woke up at six and just kept working on it. So I don't know, but I got it done for now, at least for the first unit, so that feels pretty good, and now it should be a lot faster when I do future units because I can just go back to that first document and then edit it basically so anyways feeling good feeling accomplished getting some like curriculum stuff done which is not the most fun stuff to get done if we're being completely honest but I'm doing it also this morning I made my teachers pay teachers account an actual like seller account before it was just like a buyer account I guess <laughs> and I put um, a free resource on there and then I also put a paid resource on there so if you want to check it out feel free um, elementary in the mitten wouldn't fit so I think I did elem in the mitten um, e-l-e-m I'll try to remember to link it below but sometimes I forget so anyways I did do that however I'm still kind of like learning how to use teachers pay teachers because you have to be really careful about like copyright and stuff like that whereas if I'm just making something like for myself in my own classroom like I can use basically any font I want and I don't have to worry about that but when you start selling items then you have to be a lot more careful so 
Anyways, I do want to get like all my labels for my classroom and a bunch of other stuff put on there, but it's just not gonna happen right this second. But hopefully into the school year a little bit, maybe I'll have time for that, we'll see. But anyways, I better get my stuff all packed up and head out. I have a lot to do today and it's gonna be a good day. I'm just feeling really good. So I will see you guys when I see ya. Hello friends! It is many hours later now. It is actually 5.35, um, but I got a lot done today. I've been here a while, but it's one of those days that, you know, I just don't feel like I've been here that long, but I did get a lot accomplished today, so that's good. I'm starting to get lots of, like, little things done, which is good because that means I have most of the big things done. So, anyways, Mom just left. She was here for a little bit working on putting together a desk that we bought yesterday, but it was just a lot. She was here for probably, like, at least two hours, probably more than that even, uh, maybe three hours, and she... <laughs> She realizes a lot more work than she thought it would be when she agreed to put it together for me. So bless mom. But anyway, she's been working on that. So that's the aftermath of that right now. She's going to come back tomorrow and try to finish it. But it's like a gazillion different pieces. So yes, it's from Art Band. I'm really excited to see it once it all comes together. But for now, it's just going to be on the floor. And I'm just going to leave it like that when I head out in a little bit. And that's fine. Um, but I want to show you guys what I got done. I am planning on coming back tomorrow morning. So I'm kind of going to leave it a mess today, to be honest. And that's okay. Because sometimes that just has to happen. So I did a lot of work in the storage room today. And I can't even remember remember if I've really showed you guys in this space before so I'll show you now this was very very full and very very messy I have this storage room that I share with the other fourth grade teacher so those are all of her things over there and then this is my little bit of space for my things however it's expected that I have room for students to work in here as well so I was able to get this all cleared off I have this little desk thing and I put an organizer on here and just some supplies that the students might need. And I have a couple chairs right there. And then I organized this bookcase, which took me quite a while, but I think it's looking a lot better. It's still not perfect. I definitely want to play around with it a little bit, but I, I'm pleased with where it's at right now. And then I moved a, the little rug into here. I have another desk over in this space and another little caddy. These I'm going to use for the Meet the Teacher open house. So I want to... Um, print out something for in those but until then there's is just gonna sit there and then I have my little rolling caddy right there that just has different supplies in it and then I have some different supplies on top and then I'm gonna move the mini fridge from our house down in that area because um, we don't use it at my house and then I have my big whiteboard right in this space and I figure kids can come in and like work on this potentially as well so we'll see if that space is really utilized but it's there if we want it and then those two book or those two um what are those called filing cabinets those were already in here so I'm not gonna move those out but I did move a small one out that wasn't being used um, and then I have some of my book club books on top in there just some ones that I really really enjoy and I think the students will as well and I have multiple copies and then I have this but you guys I honestly don't even know if we actually use this anymore or if these are old books I need to check on that because I haven't been told about any social studies or science curriculum yet so I just kind of have those and then I used a bunch of bins to organize this space up here I didn't really do a whole lot with those those were just already there but yeah I just have some different things up there and then I moved the behavior management crate thing that was in here up there I have a couple more things of floor tiles and yeah that's up there um so it's coming together you guys I was in this room for a very long time today and it was a lot of work guys let me tell you and it was kind of hard to work in here because I'm like I want to work in my classroom like where the kids are I don't want to like work in a stuffy back room but I think that it was definitely a necessary thing because now I'm going to be able to utilize this space so much more and I can actually have kids working in there which is really important so I'm excited about that. I'm excited that it's getting closer and it's getting cleaner and that's really good. Also, I'm really excited to get that fridge in. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that this weekend because I only get 30 minutes for lunch and that's including like taking my kids to lunch and like picking them up from recess. So that's really quick so if i have some things maybe pre-made already in the fridge in here i can just grab it eat really quick and then go run and grab my kids so that'll be really really nice and i think i want to get a microwave for in here too i might get like a nicer microwave for my house and then take our old microwave and bring it here i think that's the game plan <sighs> i'm tired 
but I do still want to run to Michael's and Joann's tonight. I bought a little cube organizer, which I'll show you guys in a second, that I'm going to use for my picture books. I actually bought one, and then my brother assembled it for me, which is really nice of him. And then I really like it, so I bought a second one because I wanted to make sure I liked it before I bought two. I got it from Walmart. It was about $40, and it seems like it's really good quality. I really wanted some from Ikea, but the nearest Ikea is like three hours away from me, and my mom and I just decided not to do the trip. We had planned on it, and it was just... It was a hot day, and I was like, you know what? I don't really want to go all the way to either Chicago or Detroit. Like, that's far. So we ended up just doing our, like, thrifting day, um, which I think you guys would have seen that vlog by now. And, um, yeah, we did that instead. So I was going to get the Calyx, I think it's called, organizers from there. And these are the closest thing that I could find, not from Ikea. So they're from Better Homes and Gardens. And, um, yeah, so I got one. It's put together. I'll show you guys that in a second. And then I'm going to have a second one coming in on Saturday. So I did go ahead and order that today. I want to swing by Joann's to get some foam because I do want to make a cushion to put on top of them so they kind of turn into like little benches and then I'll probably get some pillows or something for on top as well so that way it creates another seating area in the room but then it's also functional for storage because I have so many picture books and I'm like I really feel like the fourth graders would enjoy them so want to share them with them so yeah I just didn't have a great place to store my picture books where kids would be able to access them so now I do excited about that so I'll show you guys that in just a second I went through and I made the little table caddy vinyls today which was really fun I love how they're looking I um put a bunch of books in my library the ones that I bought yesterday I have some still sitting on the mat that I either found in this back room or some that I just brought from home or whatever so I do have like a little pile going but I think I'm just gonna do that tomorrow because I'm tired and I still have errands to run so let me show you guys around really quick what I did and yes so this is my current mess that I was telling you about that's on my mat but we're just gonna live with it because that's life and sometimes you just have to leave messes and go home and I added books to my library. I started alphabetizing the top and realized it was taking me a very long time. So I may come back and finish that later, or I might just leave it non-alphabetized. And that's fine too, but I would like it if it was alphabetized, so we'll see. And then I have to show you my little table caddies, but from back here you can see the storage bench thing that I have up there. And then I'm going to get another one for over here somewhere. I'll probably like shift it over once I have both of them. But I think it's going to work really, really nicely. I have my rug down, which I think you guys saw in the last vlog, but I'm obsessed. It's seriously so soft to you guys. It's so nice. And sorry, it's like all a mess in here. Oh, it's so bad. But what can you do? I have these little table caddies and they look so good i just used white vinyl on them and it's a kg font i don't remember which one off the top of my head but it just looks so nice these are actually shower caddies but they're off amazon and i love these and then i just organized the scissors in here highlighters pencils and then these are little crayon boxes there's also post-it notes in there so yeah and they have their little accountable talk picture frame right there and then I'm gonna put vinyl on this eventually and put batteries in there but yeah they're looking so good I'm very pleased I like them a lot and yes my room is just a hot mess right now guys it is too much but that's just life so oh well I'm just gonna leave it like this even though it's kind of making my heart sad that's okay sometimes you've just got to do it and all of this stuff over here is just stuff that I want to get rid of that was already in the room, which is so bad. But there's, yeah, this is like, that actually was mine. I accidentally printed too many for my little brownie points thing. So, yeah, but most of this stuff was already in the room. I've had so much stuff that I've had to take out because this room has just gone through so many different teachers, you guys. Like, an insane amount of teachers. I found a bunch of, like, second and third grade stuff in the back room and... Yeah, just a lot of stuff that had been there probably for years. Some of it looked older than me, to be honest. So, anyways, I think I am going to go head out. I am going to do my running around, and then I'm going to see my husband, because I want to. I miss him. So, yeah. Oh, wait, I did do one more thing. Let me show you before I go. So, I put the labels on 
my stuff up here really not that exciting but I just hot glued those labels on the turn in and file and then I put string around this for mailboxes and then I made a little loss and bound crate down there so if kids find something on the floor they can just toss it in there instead of running around and being like whose is this whose is this they can just put it in there so easy peasy Hey there guys, so now it is Friday and I know the lighting is kind of weird in here. I'm actually in my storage room right now, but I want to show you guys a couple of things that just came in the mail yesterday that I didn't get a chance to show you yet. So I'm just going to show you really quick and then get back to working on my room. Um, so first I got this book. This is called When You Reach Me. This one is a Newberry Metal book, which I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited to. And the note that goes with this says, Hi Kim, I've been a viewer for many years and I've been closely following your classroom setup. I'm about to start my senior year of high school with the hopes of becoming an elementary teacher in the future. Best of luck from Hannah Murphy. So Hannah, thank you so much for this book. I am so excited to add it to my library today. And then I got a couple more books in the mail. So I got these two books that came together. The first one is Bat and the Waiting Game. And I just read um, the original book, which this is like the second one. This is the sequel to a boy called bat i'm pretty sure is the name of it and that book was phenomenal so i'm really excited to read this one the note says hi kim enjoy your gift from kim brought so kim gave me this one so thank you so much and then also this one which how beautiful is this this is called the watcher and this is a jane goodall book and i am so excited to read this and just have it in my classroom i think the illustrations are really fun and i just love this so thank you so so much and then the last thing that i had come in the mail is from jennifer this says i saw another teacher speak about this book on her youtube channel one fab teacher which i love her videos and I thought you may enjoy it as well from Jennifer. So Jennifer got me this book. It's called J Grace Changes Everything, Teachers in the Word. And I am really, really excited to read this. It seems like it's a, um, like a devotional or like a workbook kind of thing. So I'm really excited to look through this and have this so thank you so much jennifer that was so so thoughtful but this morning i went out to breakfast with melissa and then one of our former high school teachers that was really fun he's actually our colleague now which is wild um so we went out to breakfast and just caught up and then now um i'm at school i did swing by hobby lobby on the way and i got some pom-poms for above the desks i had some come in and i didn't realize they were six inches and i needed 12 inch ones so um i'm gonna use those somewhere else in the room but i needed some bigger ones to go above the desks so or above the table so that's what I've been working on this morning. So I will show you guys that and then show you guys just some other things that I work on throughout the day. actually like 6 30 right now a little bit past 6 30 i said i was gonna leave by five today and you guys today was just i don't know kind of like a stressful day like i feel like i didn't get that much done but i've been like working hard all day so i'm like what did i even do today so um, my mom and dad came and they helped me put together this beautiful desk which i will show you guys in just a second i can't remember if i really talked about it a whole lot I might have so I apologize if I'm repeating myself but um, unfortunately I didn't have a teacher desk in this room and there wasn't an extra one in the building at all the teacher who was in here before me used like three tables um, like these kind of tables the student tables as her desk and that just took up so much space and I did not want to do that just because that's not my style like I wanted something really simple and something that didn't take up a lot of room but I still needed a spot for like the phone, the desktop computer that I'm required to have, and the dot cam. So anyways, my parents, bless their hearts, they spent so long putting this together. They just, just left. And um, they both were working on it and it was just a lot of work. It was a lot of pieces. So I really appreciate them coming in and doing that. That was amazing and such a blessing. So yeah, they got something big done today. And then I've just been working on little stuff. And I feel like I'm a little bit discouraged because I've been here for like eight hours over eight hours and I feel like I haven't done anything but I guess that's just how it goes so let me show you what I did do today so this is the new desk I love how it looks in the space it is from art van I will say it's very difficult to put together if you end up getting it just know that in advance but it looks really really nice unfortunately the chair that I had does not fit in this space though so I will have to buy a new chair as well but yeah that's next on the agenda I suppose but I'm really loving how this space is coming together 
I just feel like it looks really good, really warm and inviting. And yeah, I just really, really like the space. I kind of just have junk everywhere right now that I was working on. Um, but I did finish these little table signs today as well. So that was like my big project for today. I really like how they turned out. Those pom-poms are from Hobby Lobby and then I just made those little signs and I hot glued some twine to them so that way they like hang. I started to work on this today and then kind of gave up. I think I'm gonna come in tomorrow and work on that. But I want the whole top covered with black paper and then I'm gonna put a little like saying or quote or something up there. So I have just paper on the ground waiting to go up there but that's next on my list. Then I have some paper that I laminated that I'm gonna use to make the quote on my Cricut tomorrow. I have, this was part of what the teacher before me was using as her desk. Um, so I had <laughs> that over in that space before and I'm just going to get rid of those. I don't need them in here and they're just clutter, cluttering the space right now. So I need to bring that file cabinet down as well. So I did these over here today. Um, these are off of TPT. I honestly don't remember who I got them from off the top of my head, but I'll try to remember to link them below. But these are just like photo booth props. I'm gonna have these available for the open house and then I just hot glued some skewers on the back. And then also I can't show these, but I made these little like business card looking type things. Um, then I put magnets on the back so it has all my contact information for parents and I'm gonna hand those out at the open house as well. I bought this scrapbooking paper from Hobby Lobby this morning and I think I'm going to go back and get some more because I really like it. I didn't do anything with this space today but I'm going to tomorrow. I have 15 right here and I found out I got my student list today which that was exciting. I have, drum roll please, 17 kids in my class total which is really good. I was expecting like 16 to 18 but I had planned for 20 just in case. I mean I have like 30 of everything just in case but I was hoping I wouldn't have more than 20 because that's what I was told. So I have 17 kids but it's kind of wild. I have 11 boys and 6 girls so it's a very boy heavy class. So I'm excited to see how that plays out. Hopefully it'll be good. If you guys have any tips let me know or if you guys know any book series or books that kid boy children like boy fourth graders really enjoy let me know i feel like i have a decent amount of books that will be good for boys but yeah if you know of any others definitely let me know it's been a day you guys i'm so tired right now and i feel so out of it it's so hot in my classroom you guys it is obscene um and today it was raining all day so i couldn't open my window at all and you guys i just like don't know how we're gonna survive like it is so so hot i've had three fans going all day and then i need to get that wall mounted fan actually mounted i think i'm gonna put in a maintenance request and see if the maintenance guy or girl i guess i don't know um the maintenance person will come in and do that for me my mom and i were gonna do it but it would be drilling into cinder block and i just that makes me a little nervous so we'll see what happens there um but i'm gonna at least try to put in a request and see if they'd be willing to do it i know i would really appreciate if they did so we'll see but yeah then I'll at least have four fans, but you guys, it is so hot in this room, and I'm the type of person that I hate being hot. Like, I would much rather be cold than hot, so I know in every vlog, I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm dying, um, but I'm just nervous for once we get 17 more bodies in this room, like, how warm it's gonna be, so I don't know. If you guys have any tips for, like, how to keep the room cool, let me know. I plan on leaving the overhead lights off for a lot of the day because I do have three lamps, and then also I'm gonna put up Christmas lights, I think, tomorrow. So I'm hoping I'll be able to leave the lights off and maybe that'll cool it down a little bit. But honestly, I feel like if it's a dreary day like today, like I won't be able to leave the lights off. So I don't know. I'm just a little nervous, you guys. So we'll see what happens. I mean, the school has been around for quite a while and, you know, everybody survived so far. So like I'm sure it will be fine, but... I just don't know if I'm gonna be the best version of myself if I'm like dying of heat, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I did get a few comments of people who were like, Kim, just get a personal air conditioner, like a small air conditioner, um, a per portable one. And so I did look into that, but you guys are so expensive. The cheapest one I found on Amazon that was like one that would work for my size space, I think was like $200. So I just don't have the extra money to spend on that right now, you guys. And like, I just feel like the money that I am spending, I want it to be on, like educational materials and I know that that kind of like inadvertently is one but I don't know 
it's just hot you guys it's just real hot so anyways I am so sorry to complain I think I'm just like grumpy because I'm tired and I'm warm but maybe eventually we'll get a portable air conditioner I don't know <laughs> we'll see what happens but I think I am just about to head out because poor Chris I told him I would probably be home by the time he got home and that didn't happen so I need to pack up all my stuff and I need to head out I did um, add up some books to the library today and I stamped them with my little property of Mrs. Hall stamp. I can't remember if I showed that in this vlog yet. Let me find one that it's on. What did I just add? This book I just added. So I'm doing the washi tape to sort by genre. And then I have the little property of Mrs. Hall's stamp. That one says from the library O, but it's supposed to say of the from the library of. So, you know. My stamping skills are not that great, but we're trying. Um, so yeah, that's, sorry, I'm not in frame. <laughs> that's what I've been up to. It has been a long day. I did actually get to meet quite a few teachers today though. I met Melissa's mentor teacher, and then I just met third grade teacher, and I feel like I met somebody else today too. Maybe not, I don't know. But I just got chatting with a lot of different people. Oh, I remember, I met the head of the PTC, which is like the PTO or PTA, um, the Parent Teacher Committee, I think is what it is. Um, so I met her, she was super, super nice. So I talked with her for a little bit and she was really sweet. She was like, if you have anything you need help with, like I'll be here Monday, let me know. So that was really nice. So I might potentially ask her to stamp some books. We'll see what happens. But it's just crazy. I feel like I am running out of time a little bit because I have my new teacher trainings Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week and they're like eight to four every day. So I won't really have any time to spend in my classroom except for Thursday, Friday, that weekend. And then I have an all day training on Monday at 7.30 to four. And then we have our open house from five to seven that night. So it's gonna be a long day. And that's the day before the first day of school because my first day of school is Tuesday. So it's a lot, you guys. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm feeling a little bit stressed, a little bit overwhelmed, but I'm gonna pray about it. And I know it's gonna come together. So life is gonna be so good. Um, I do wanna show you too. I can't remember if I showed you the pillow I got from Hobby Lobby, but it's seriously perfect. So let me show you. So I found this at Hobby Lobby this morning. I was looking for something to go in this space and it's that middle one right there. I seriously love it. It was half off. So it ended up being $15 and I just think it looks so cute in this space. It's really hard to show you this space cause it's like backlit or whatever, but it's like the cutest pillow you guys. Like I would totally put this in my house too. I just love that. I think that's so fun. So I did that. Here's the space. Oh my gosh, isn't that so cute though you guys? It just like makes me so happy. I love this. So I'm very pleased, I'm feeling good, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just end this vlog here because I feel like I have enough footage, hopefully. Um, and then tonight I think I'm gonna work on labeling some stuff. I already made the name tags, I just need to like print and laminate them tonight. Um, so I did that today. But yeah, I was really excited to get my class list. Ooh, that was a little bit further down than I thought it would be. I was really excited to get my class list. I'm really looking forward to getting to know my kids and I'm really excited that I only have 17. That is such a blessing and so good, especially as a first year teacher to have that smaller size so that way I can just really love on all my students and get to know them really well and hopefully get to know their families as well. So I'm really, really excited. So anyways, I am going to bid you adieu right here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I seriously appreciate your love and support so much. And to everyone who has donated via my Amazon wish list, like you guys, it seriously just means the world to me. And those donations just keep coming in. I swear I have boxes every single day. So I just, I feel so blessed. So thank you guys so much. Remember that you guys are incredibly beautiful and loved. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.